Damn violence, guns. I'm a cop. I'm a deputy here in Uvalde County. This is enough. This is enough. No one else needs to go through this. We never needed to go through this, but we are. Felix Rubio lost his daughter Lexi in yesterday's shooting in Texas. 18 other fourth graders, two teachers, also died in this horrific attack. All sharing a pain and a bond now that should never exist. In the past 24 hours, we are learning so much more about the victims and their stories. Ron Jones joining us with more on that tonight. Yeah, that's right, guys. So remember these children and the teachers as well. That's what the parents are asking us tonight. These are just some of the victims of this tragic massacre, almost all of them around the age of 10 years old. And police say the shooter cornered them in a classroom before opening fire. Amir Joe Garza was shot while trying to call 911. Irma Garcia, another teacher, died while she was trying to shield her students. 17 others were hurt and they're still recovering tonight. Authorities say there was little warning. The violence was coming to that school from the gunman who they identified as a former high school student, Salvador Ramos. They say that he privately messaged a woman. He met online 30 minutes before the shooting, saying that he was going to shoot his grandmother. He followed up with another message saying that he did. And the final message 15 minutes before the massacre said that he was going to shoot up an elementary school. Well, police say an off-duty patrol officer, a patrol agent, and two other police officers managed to find and kill the shooter even after he barricaded himself. And today at a news conference, Texas Governor Greg Abbott praised their swift action. They showed amazing courage by running toward gunfire for the singular purpose of trying to save lives. Now, many of you have already reached out to 11 Alive asking, you know, how can we help the victims and their families as well? Well, there's so many ways you can do that. And you can find a link on our website at 11alive.com.